Hey, Ministry Pivot, uh, Reverend Russ back again with another five minute pivot or less. Uh, I saw this video last year and wanted to get a chance to talk about it. Didn't get a chance to talk about it. You all saw it. It was on social media. I believe it's this young man, uh, super uh, excited for him. It, it, uh, he is super excited uh, supporting his friend. Uh, let, let, let's go ahead and look at the video. Show us number five, King. Where's number five? Show us five. Where's five? Hold it up. All, all right, clap for King. <laughs> clap for King. All right, King. Show us number one. All right, clap for King. Clap for King. Okay, King. King, show us number two. Number two, King. All right, clap for King. I hope you uh, were smiling at that. I hope you got excited at that as well. You see this young man who is supporting his friend as he gets these answers right, as he uh, is uh, just excited about these answers that he's getting right. And it made me think uh, that one of the pivots, one of the five minute pivots that we need to make sure we're doing, and I don't know if you do it on a daily basis or a weekly basis, but when is the last time you encourage somebody? When is the last time you spent some time out of your day, took some time out of what you were doing to encourage somebody else, to support somebody else, to hype somebody else up. That's what this young man did. And I think he teaches us all a lesson. Uh, and I, I'm praying that you look at it, but look at it in a couple areas. Who are you supporting? Who is on uh, your playing field? Who, who are you supporting at your job? Who are you supporting at your school? Who, who, who are you supporting at your church? But then who are you supporting? Uh, who you are mentoring? Who uh, may not be uh, where you are, but who uh, may be a couple grades behind you or a couple years behind you or a couple stages in life behind you, who are you supporting and encouraging and letting them know uh, the areas in which you made mistakes? That's super key. I hope uh, we understand now, now that I'm getting older, I'm no longer uh, the youngest person in the room all the time, which used to be the case. Uh, I'm realizing that there's value in me reaching back and talking uh, to some of the people who uh, were where I was, uh, who, 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 who rather are where I was several uh, years ago and being able to share just small things or small thoughts with them and whether they take it or not, but just really trying to encourage them. And then who are you encouraging? Who is at another level? Who is uh, uh, away from you? Who may be a mentor? Who may be? Because mentors need encouragement too. People who are in different professions also need encouragement as well. But I think the lesson uh, that we learned from this young man, the lesson uh, that we see from this young man is that we should all be supporting and encouraging somebody else. And can I help you that when we encourage somebody else, not only are we helping them, but we're also helping ourselves because we know that if God can do it for them, you got it right. God can also uh, do it for us. And so hoping uh, that you'll spend some time even today, even pause after watching this video to encourage somebody, to text somebody, to call somebody, somebody uh, to email somebody and let them know that you're encouraging them to to support them in what they're doing and trusting uh, that at God at, that, that as God uses you to be a blessing to them, that someone else will also be a blessing to you. Looking forward uh, to you getting uh, involved in what we're doing at Ministry Pivot. There are so many things going on. Don't forget uh, to check out the articles. Don't forget to check out the conversations. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Pivot University. Uh, there's so much going on. Super excited uh, for what God is doing. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media uh, platforms and assets, and I'll see you next time. But don't forget that this is your season of opportunity. God bless.